everyone. So today we will uh, discuss defining the quartiles using the Mendenhall and Senkic method. So there are three quartiles in a set of numbers. We have to know that in finding the quartiles, there is lower quartile or Q1, middle quartile or Q2, and then the upper quartile or Q3. So this. And also the middle quartile is also called the median. So first, we have to know that the quartiles divide the set when they are in numerical order. So we have to remember, in numerical order, into four equal groups. Four equal groups. Later on, I will show you so you can visualize it better. It is possible to find the quartiles. However, there are different methods for finding the quartiles, which give different values for them. So just like what I said earlier, we will use the Mendenhall and Sandkitch method. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. So here, so you can visualize it better. As you can see, we have the lower quartile, the middle quartile, and the upper quartile. These are the 3, 6, and 9. And what I mean by uh, it divides in 4 equal parts, as you can see here, it is divided into 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what if we don't know the value of our quartiles? So here, we have the formula. We have the lower quartile, or Q1. And then the median, which is Q2, or the middle quartile. There. And then we have the upper quartile, or the Q3. So to remember the formula, as you can see, it, is, uh, it looks alike, almost the same. Uh, the difference is just the value of the formula that we will uh, multiply the n plus 1 with. So we have the 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0.75. So in lower quartile, we will use the 0 0.25 multiplied by n plus 1. We have to remember that if the lower quartile falls halfway between two integers, we have to round up the answer. That is in lower quartile. And then in the middle quartile, we have 0 0.5 multiplied into n plus 1. Then in upper quartile, we have 0 0.75 times the n plus 1. So here we have to remember is if upper quartile falls halfway between two integers, we have to round down the answer. So remember, in upper quartile, we will round up. In upper quartile, we will round down. If you are wondering, what is n here? n is the total number of the given of the given number. For example, we have 1, 3, 5, 7. So our n is equal to 4 because this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. There. So here, let's practice. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 as our example. So um, first, we have to determine if it's in numerical order. As you can see, it is in numerical order already. So, here we have the formula, 0 0.25 times n plus 1, 0 0.5 n plus times n plus 1, and 0 0.75 times n plus 1. So, first we have to determine what is n. n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, our n is equal to 9. So, first let's start with the lower quartile. So, we will just substitute the 9 into all n's in the formula. So we have 0 0.25 times 9 plus 1. So this will equivalent to 10. So 10 times 0 0.25. That is 2.5. Now remember, in lower quartile, we will round up. So the answer is equal to 3. Next, we will answer the middle quartile. So 0 0.5 times n means 9 plus 1. So this will equal to 10 times 0 0.5. This equal to 5. 
So we have 5 as the answer. And then in upper quartile, we have 0 0.75 times 9 plus 1. That will equal to 10 times 0 0.75. Seven point five. Okay, now remember in upper quartile we will round down. So that will equal to seven. So now that we have three, five, and seven, we can determine the quartiles in this number group so first we have three so we will count three so one two and three this will be your lower quartile or the q1 and then five one two three four five this will be the q2 or the middle quartile and then seven one two three four five six seven this now will be your q3 or the upper quartile here we have another example so first let's determine if it's in numerical order and it is in numerical order now we will determine what is the n so n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13. So n is equal to 13. And we will just substitute that into the ends of our formula. So first, let's start with lower quartile. We have 0 0.25 times 13 plus 1. That is equal to 14 times 0 0.25. So, 0 0.25 times 14 is equal to 3.5. Now, remember, we have to round up in lower quartile. So, this will equal to 4. Now, in middle quartile, we have 0 0.5 times 13 plus 1. This will equal to 14 times 0.5. Equal to 7. Okay, now in upper quartile, we have 0 0.75 times 13 plus 1. And that will equal to 14 times 0 0.75. 0 0.75 times 14 is equal to 10.5. Now remember, in upper quartile, we will round, we will round down. So down. That will equal to 10. Now that we have the answers in Q1, Q2, and Q3, we can now determine what is the Q1, Q2, Q3 here. So first we have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is our Q1 or lower quartile. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This will now be our Q2 or the middle quartile or our median and then we have 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now we have the 15 as our q3 or our upper quartile okay another example so first let's determine if it's in numerical order so here in the instruction, it says use Mendenhall and Senkic method to find the Q1, Q2, and Q3 given the scores of students in their mathematics activity. So this is the numbers given. Now we will arrange it in numerical order. So first we have 4, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, and 15. 
let's put comma so you won't get confused. So now that it is in numerical order, we will determine its n. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it is equal to 9. And then just substitute that to our n's here. So let's start with lower quartile. So our lower quartile is 0 0.25 times 9 plus 1 equals to 10 times 0.25 that is equal to 2.5 now again remember we will round up so it will be 3 in the middle quartile we have 0 0.5 times 9 plus 1 that will equal to 10 times 0 0.5 and that is equal to 5 and in upper quartile we have 0 0.75 times 9 plus 1 equal to 10 times 0 0.75 that is equal to 7.5 remember we have to round down in upper quartile that will be 7 so we have 3, 5, and 7. Now, in we will uh, look in the numerically arranged numbers. So, we will look for the 3rd, 5th, and 7th number. So, we have in 3rd, we have the 1, 2, 3, we have 7. as the Q1. And then, we look for 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We want, we have... 9 as our Q2 and then 7th 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so we have 12 as our Q3 so that's how easy it is thank you for watching